So I'll finish up here with the penultimate race of uh, week 12. It's a three mile two furlong um, Hunter Chase the Cottingham. It's an all hundred handicap. So number one, Alpha Romeo for James Forrest. This is where the fish lives for Obi Wan, Green Beans, Del Hinton, Bootsy for David Robinson, Wormhead for Graham Clutterbuck, Mighty Dev for Alex Cherry, Dell's Ghost for Wonderful Hollywood Hinton, Sphinx Watson for Darren Howard, Some Lady for Alex Cherry, Cuisine for Carl Arrogante, De Angelis for James Forrest, Sphinx Princess for Darren Howes, Aldgate Cat for Carl Arrogante, Deceiver for Martin Liedem, and Jawala Maclet for Doug Warren. Makes up 15 over this three mile, two furlongs. The start has already got him away. Carl's got two in here, looking to pick up three in a row. He's got all gate cap that's probably going to lead us. Green beans on his outside. As we get to the first of 24, Green beans jumped it better. But, uh, Hollywood Hinton's horse moves on to the second. All over that, the one at the rear is Dell's Ghost, which is also a Dell Hinton horse. Not as good as the one in the lead, but it's Green beans that's going to lead us. Two Arrogante horses of Allgate Cat and Quizel. We've lost one there. Sphinx Princess is a faller. Bad luck, Darren. So one of the two out. We're being led by Green Beans. So Green Beans, Allgate Cat Cuisine. And the Wormhead. And this is where the fish lives. They will get over the fourth. And looks a little bit uh, sticky. There was Mighty Dev towards the rear. But he's, oh, we've lost one there. This is where the fish lives goes. Obi one loses one at the fifth. Unlucky. So it's all gate cat green beans and cuisine all together. And it looks like we're going to ride on board Jawala Macalette. One of the Jawalas. Coming down to the six. Gets up very well. Gray on the outside of him is Deceiver of Martin Leedham. Just in front of Sphinx walks in there. We're on Bootsy of David Robertson. Sitting just on De Angelis. Now we're riding on Wormhead of Graham Clutterbuck. He's in fourth at the moment. Go past the winning post, there's the stand. And the circuit to go. Two and a half miles to trap on this Green Beans from Walgate Cat Cuisine. Here's your one, two, three, and they've got about a three or four length of orange from Wormhead, Sphinx, Walking, Sin, and Deceiver. And Joanna Macalette has been moving close as they go over the seventh, and we're still on their feet. So we're just down two to the eighth. And John Macwell was Deceiver, but it's Green Beans still from Walgate Cat and Cuisine. To Sphinx Waltz in and Wormhead, then Deceiver de Angelis, Some Lady and Alpha Romeo. And just the four of the way, the Joala Macalette, the Grey against the fence, Dells goes on his outside. Dan Robertson's Bootsy, and Mighty Death for Kevin Meenahan, just bringing up the rear. But, uh, happening in that position at the moment. So as they go up here, here at Cottingham, we go over the ninth. We'll jump it well, another slow jump at the rear by Mighty Dev, but it's Green Bean still leading from all gate camp cuisine. A little bit Indian file now. So just over two miles to travel. Still plenty of fences and plenty of running to be had. And there's Green Beans that leads us from all gay cat cuisine. Our Agamti team looking to win the three hunters in a row. And he's got one in the last, which Martin's calling home, which is the four mile monster. And we will get a full house, as they say, over the hunter races this week. But it's Green Beans that leads him into the 11, which jumps it well. This is the rest, so it's green beans, although uh, Cuisine and all gate cap drop back a little bit and Deceiver's moved up with Sphinx Waters in and De Angelis on his outside, then some lady. One man's dropped back a little bit as they go over the 12th, halfway through the fences now. Swing right-handed again, these two fences along this back straight. And it's green beans that's going to lead them into the 13th, he gets over it a little bit slow. Everyone else as well, again towards the rear, Mighty Dev didn't take it particularly well, and he's getting pulled up, Mighty Dev now, hadn't been running particularly well, Mikey Kevin, one's out, so just the one down, so as they come round again, I should take this right hand turn, which is the run up to the last next time round, the furlong, that's still Green Beans that leads us over it, let's jump it well on Joanna Macalet, is just the one on the rear of the moment. But it's Green Beans from Allgate Cat Cuisine, Sphinx Waltz in Some Lady. And we've got De Angelo and Alfa Romeo, Deceiver, Bootsy and Wormhead. We've got a few back to Dell's Ghost and Jawala Macalette, which you can't see at the moment. As they go past the winning post for the final time. Circuit to go. The rain starting to come down. The clouds are moving in. It's pretty ominous. As we move in close, watch Green Beans take the 16th. He does. Remainder into the 17th, jumped 
slowly there by Green Beans and allowed all Gate Cat to pull up alongside now and challenge him as we come down to a mile from home. So we're right handed again now. That's all Gate Cat and Green Beans from Cuisine to Angelus Sweet Swans in. Now for Romeo on the inside. Now wide is some lady. Bootsy. Wormhead and Deceiver. And we still can't see Dell's ghost and Jawala Makalep. But Green Beans under a little bit of pressure now as we come inside the seven. He's being pushed along by his jockey from all Gate Cat. They get all oh, Gate Cat went through the top of that bit of an error. But it's still Green Beans that leads. And Cuisine is the one in second now. All Gate Cat drops back. Sphinx Waltz and sitting pretty and looking good. The Follies Horses of De Angelis and uh, Alfa Romeo running well. Some lady moving up on the outside. Wormhead trying to make a, a run as well as Bootsy. But up front, Green Beans has taken it from All Gate Cat who's pushing through again as we come down to five furlongs from home so it's Green Beans, All Gate Cat they get to the 19th together, All Gate Cat jumps it well, the one chasing through now is Wormhead but it's All Gate Cat into the 20th, jumps it again well from Wormhead can Carl Arroganti pick up all three in a row, so it's All Gate Cat that leads them, inside the final half a mile and it's All Gate Cat by about three to four, gets over that, jumped it well as does the remainder but All Gate Cat still leads and we're losing another one there, Jawala Makalet's not taking part anymore inside the three all gate cat alfa romeo trying to chase him down green bean still running on over the 22nd all gate cat's got two to three lengths advantage here from alfa romeo into the penultimate jumps it slowly alfa romeo is faster so it's all gate cat going to be put under pressure now by alfa romeo but is he We're inside the final two it's all gate cat that leads pulling away from alfa romeo now and green bean still trying to run on they go downhill now with a firm left to run and get to the last he's over it. All Gate Cat takes it from Alpha Romeo and Green Beans and it's All Gate Cat. Carl Arroganti's going to pick up on three in a row. He's absolutely taken all the hunter chases this week. What a great uh, turnout. So All Gate Cat takes it. Well done Daniel. Second was Green Beans. Alpha Romeo was third. I think since 14 was fourth. Not many got into that. Well led from the beginning. So All Gate Cat for Carl Arroganti takes it. Well done. Green Beans for Dale Hinton was second. Alpha Romeo for James Follis was third. Sphinx Walton for Darren House was fourth. And Angelus for James Follis was fifth. So I'll pass you over to Martin.